I'm Carl from AV Now Fitness Sound. I'd like to talk to you today about the Fitness Audio Mini TX Microphone System. When you get your mic system, you'll have a receiver and you'll have a headset in two separate packages. So the receiver I want to show you real quick on how that gets put together. So when you open up your box, you'll have inside, you'll have your receiver, you'll have your antennas, and you'll have your connection cable, and then you'll also have a rack mount kit for your receiver. So first thing I want to show you is how to put the antennas on your receiver. I've already put one on, and I'll put the second one on so you can see how it goes. So right here on this threaded part, you go ahead and put your antenna on, screw it on. Make sure that the antenna is seated nice and tight. You don't want it to start to unscrew on you while you're using it. It'll cause a gap in reception. The next thing you're going to want to do is plug in your connection cable for your receiver, and that will plug into your mixer on the other end. So here is the side that plugs into your microphone system receiver. Once it's in, you'll hear a click that indicates that it's plugged in nice and tight. The second side right here will plug into your mixer into one of its line inputs, and you'll use that to turn up the volume of your mic system through your sound system. On the rack mount kit for the system, you'll get two ears. You have a long ear and a short ear. The way this works is on the side you'll see some screw holes, and they screw in right on the side right here of the receiver. I'm just going to set them against it so you can kind of see them for reference. But when you put them in the system, it allows you to get your mic system rack mounted into the rack so that your system is secure and you don't have to worry about it moving around every time it's adjusted. Now on to the second portion of your mic system. It's your headset and transmitter. So your headset, in this case we're using the eMic headset. The system is also available with the AeroMic or the CycleMic. Let's talk about the features of this e-mic. Great thing about this e-mic is it's a nice, stiff, wire rigid frame so you don't have to worry about the frame breaking on you when you put it on your head. The headset, the e-mic headset uses a noise cancelling element. So this element right here, this part is the element. When you talk into this side here, it rejects the sounds of that sound on the other side of the microphone. That helps with feedback reduction and it helps with volume gain of your microphone through the sound system. Next thing I want to talk about is the transmitter of this mic system. So on the back, this is your transmitter. The transmitter is what sends the signal to your receiver from the headset. So this right here, this part is the battery cover. If you press down on it and you pull it outward, see how it kind of unclicks? You can just take that battery cover right off, just set that aside. I want to show you, you see this clear rubberized gasket? This is a seal that when you put the battery cover onto the transmitter, and it clicks in place, it seals it so that the moisture from your body when you're teaching your class doesn't cause damage to the transmitter. Another great feature is the on-off switch. This is just like the kind that you have on your toothbrush where it doesn't allow any sweat to get in there. It's a sealed switch as opposed to other manufacturers. They, they have a switch where it can corrode out over time. The other cool feature is this part right here. If your headset comes unplugged, just like that, you can send this in for repair. So you can repair just this piece or replace just this piece or you can replace just your headset. If you get one and it's disconnected, all you have to do is there's three holes here and three pins here. You just line them up and one of the quick indicators is see the arrow how it points up toward the top where the top of the transmitter is. That makes it seat in nice and tight. When you're getting your headset and you need to make frequency adjustments, you'll see right here there's a little dial. And we'll talk about how to adjust those frequencies so that your receiver and transmitter are on the same channel. Let's go ahead and set the frequencies of your mic system. What you want to do first is if you open up your transmitter on your headset, there's a little silver sticker inside. And if you look at that little silver sticker, you'll see right in the parentheses, that's your frequency band of your mic system. In this case, it's SU536B. So this is the 536 megahertz band range and it's uh, the B side of the frequencies. There's an A side and a B side. So when you set your frequencies you need to make sure that your receiver is on the B side of frequencies. So let's go ahead and look at our receiver. When we power on our receiver first thing you're gonna see is it goes to double zero. What you want to do to set that band of frequencies is you press the up arrow and hold it. Once you do that you'll see that the FS 
which stands for full spectrum of frequencies is blinking. If you hit the up arrow, you see how it says FA. Now the frequency A band is selected. If you hit it one more time, you get frequency FB, and in this case it's a lowercase b. And you can toggle up and down from these frequencies. For our situation, we want to go ahead and set it to frequency B, and that's the B band of frequencies. In order for it to set, you just wait, it stops blinking, it'll go back to zero, zero. Now that it's at zero, zero, what you need to do is make sure that your receiver and your transmitter sync in frequencies. So if you look on your transmitter, there's a little dial right here. This dial is your channel of frequencies. So when you get your mic system, it'll be set to zero. Your receiver will be set to zero. So you want to make sure that you set your transmitter with the power off. If you set it with the power on, it won't change the frequencies. So let's go ahead and set our transmitter to channel one. So right now it's set to channel one. See the little dot right there between the zero and the two? That's channel one. Now that it's set, we can go ahead and put our battery into the headset. Let's go ahead and put the cover on. Let's power it up. See the lights powered up. All right, now with the headset powered on, let's go ahead and look at the receiver. See right here, there are no meter lights lit up. The receiver is on channel 00. We just set our headset to channel 01. So in order to set your channels, you're going to press both blue buttons and hold them down till the number starts blinking. Once it blinks, you can go ahead and set it to 1. Go ahead and let it set. It'll blink just like you did on the band selections. Once it's set, notice the meters immediately lit up, showing you that you have radio frequency sync and that you're on diversity B antenna. That's this side. This side back here is A. Now your system is ready to use. When you're using your system, make sure that you have your volume knob turned up.